Hi everyone, this is a review of the four of the Better Homes and Gardens new Fall 2018 uh, wax melt scents from Walmart. They are slowly trickling into the Walmarts, so that's why I'm only reviewing four of them. I did a review of most of the other ones a couple of weeks ago, so that was part one of two. This is part two of two. And there are still a couple of scents that I still haven't found, but I will, um, I'll mention those um, later. So, um, first one we have is Aloha Pineapple Pumpkin. This is the one that I was really looking forward to just because it's such an odd sounding um, scent. The official scent notes are a juicy blend of sweet pear, fragrant apple, and hints of citrus with warm notes of cinnamon, spiced pumpkin, crushed allspice, brown sugar, and sweet amber completed with a touch of juicy pineapple. Oh, and if you haven't seen my reviews before, I actually don't look at the scent notes until I've done the review because I don't want my nose to be swayed by what I think it should smell like. So, um, this is a pineapple scent. It says it's a touch of a juicy pineapple. No, it's primarily pineapple. On cold sniff, I also detect like a smidgen of some kind of spice. And although it's kind of sweet, it's also very slightly salty. And there might be a barely detectable smidgen of musk in the background, like almost like a little bit of a perfumey note. Melted though, I don't smell spices and it just smells like fake unsweetened pineapple. I'm not a fan of pineapple, so I did not like this one. Uh, looking at the notes, I don't smell pear, apple, or citrus. And the throw is medium, 3.5 out of five. So this was really the only one of these four that I did not care for. Chilled pomegranate wine. Oh, I hate that flash. It's a nice kind of a wine type color there. It's really annoying. There we go. The official notes are late harvest cherries, juicy cranberries, and sweet ripened pomegranate fruit stirred with citrus, lemon, tart orange, pure cane, pure cane sugar, and spiked white wine to create a fun festive autumn sangria. This smells like a rich, sweet raspberry with a hint of vanilla buttercream, but there's also another juicy berry note in the background, maybe cranberry. Um, looking at the notes, I don't smell lemon or orange at all, or any wine notes, um, which is good because the wine notes, they usually have like a sour fermentation smell that I don't like. This is a fantastic scent. Um, it is a dupe of an older scent. I just don't remember which one. It might be Better Homes and Gardens Cranberry Apple Martini from 2015, which I don't have anymore. I don't know, but it's a dupe of something else older, but it's, I love this one. I actually stocked up on it. And the throw is strong, 3.5 out of 5. Mahogany and Sandalwood. Notes are warm mahogany, aromatic birch wood, crisp juniper berry, and fresh green balsam, Shimmer with fragrant herbs, touches of sparkling citrus, and smooth ambered sandalwood, all wrapped around sage and sweet moss. This is a warm, woodsy, smoky cologne scent with a smidgen of spruce. It's fantastic. Looking at the notes, the spruce I smell is probably the juniper and the balsam. I don't smell citrus at all. It's very rich sweet and smoky, even a little bit salty. I absolutely adore this scent and it lasted for 16 hours and probably would have gone longer if I hadn't removed it from the warmer. And the throw was bold, five out of five, took over the entire house. So I stocked up on this one too. Spiced vanilla embers. Notes are creamy vanilla, spo creamy vanilla smoked spicy cinnamon, a hint of rich nutmeg and warm incense, sweet clove bud, and white jasmine with warming notes of sandalwood and black musk. This is a fantastic milky sandalwood type scent with a smoky marshmallow note um, and sweet tobacco and a hint of patchouli and vanilla and maybe a smidgen of cinnamon. It also has just a tiny bit of a warm, ambery, perfumey note, although it's not a perfume or cologne scent. Looking at the notes, it might just be the combination of clove and jasmine that I think is sweet tobacco. 
uh, like the mahogany and sandalwood, this one lasted for 16 hours and again, probably would have gone much longer if I hadn't removed it and the throw was strong, four out of five. So yes, these three, fantastic. This one, not so much, at least not for me. Um, I have not found, there are a couple that I still haven't found. Um, I know they're a warm velvet pomegranate. That's one that I haven't found that I know is out at some Walmarts and dark midnight skies. Also, there are some other scents that might not have made their way to Walmarts yet because I think that some of them are more like winter scents, although some Walmarts have gotten them. All Things Nice is one. Vermont White Spruce, I think. Warm Fireside Flurries. Woodland Forest Floor Duo, which is fallen leaves and green moss, and creamy marshmallow cocoa. Also, maybe Country Gingerbread Cookie and Lavender and Freesia. If I do find them, I will review them with the holiday scents when I do get them. Or maybe I'll just add them to the text version of this review. You can read the text version of this review at my website at scentedwaxmeltreviews.com and feel free to join our Facebook group where we discuss all different brands and scents of retail and store-bought uh, scented wax melts. You can find the link to our Facebook group underneath this video. And um, have a great day. And my little kitten wants my attention. Hey, little girl. That's my little girl with the two colored eyes. That was my little sweetie. That was my little girl. That's my little Bella. Oh, she's such a little sweetie, isn't she? Yes, she is. Okay. Um, have a great day.